literally talk to the young people on the ground and get a feel of what's happening. But right now, Shiko Kihika and Nerima, or rather Nerima, let's begin with Nerima Wako, is joining us via Skype. Nerima Asante Sana, welcome to the show. Um, I know you are live and watching, or rather, from Kawangware. We've seen the scenario that has been happening this evening. Between the conversations with you and your friends, how do they feel about this specific election? What is the mood? even before that news broke up, people were not really sure whether it was fake news. So I'd have to say that social media has played a very important role, whether we trust our news, because there's a lot of information, people are saying everything was, is okay, everything is not okay. But even from the house, you can hear fire trucks going back and forth. So you definitely know that there's something happening, but it took a while for it to be verified. So we can see a lot of people are cautious about the information that they're spreading, which I think is a good thing because people want to verify the information first before spreading it. All right, thank you, Nerima. Also here in studio with us are two gentlemen, Joasun Sando and Samuel Odor. Gentlemen, good evening. It's so good to have you here. Thank you so much for coming. And tonight we're going to be talking about the issue of peace, right? And we'll be joining also Shiko Kihika from our Nakuru Bureau. But first of all, very quickly, Torres, what are your thoughts on this issue of peace? And I know that you're a young man who is always on the ground talking to young people in, in Tani. What is the feel like, especially when you're talking to them during this week? How uh, specifically even today? Since it's hard because we are we as the youth, we are really suffering. Mm. We are divided. Like I think and two very hard. But we are we are we are like telling each other that since we let us in need to divide to kai pamoja but unapata ni challenge ku kuka kuka with my own brother like the brother mwenye tumeka nae for long now saizi atuweze kana nae pamoja and it's really hurting as young people because our fathers our great fathers so our uh, was the way to they are not showing they are not giving giving us showing us the right way to go right. they are dividing us as, as the youths of Kenya as the youth yeah, of Kenya yeah. Nerima, i know um, um you're joining us from Nakuru, uh, from Kawangware that rather via Skype what more can you tell us um, that you have seen on the ground that you've had uh, um, had about rather more specifically in Kawangware well, it's really, really worrying because I have to agree that there's a lot of division. A lot of people are saying um, there were some footage or images of young people and people are already labeling it like those are Kikuyu, those are whatever. And that's worrying because we're seeing ourselves dividing into clusters. And people who you've mentioned earlier have been friends or neighbors. And all of a sudden now you see each other as different from one another and no longer Kenyan. So you find that a lot of young people, they want to keep that friendship. But at the same time, there's this mistrust because even I'll have to say for myself, even online, you're seeing people saying things and you're wondering where it's coming from because these who are, are your friends. So I'd say that there's this sort of animosity and almost a sense of we are not really talking about the real deep-seated issues that we face as a country. And some people are in denial where they are saying that there are no issues, we need to stop pretending that there are, there's nothing wrong with our country, let's move on. So I think we need to have honest con conversations as young people. Are not having um, honest conversations as young people? I, I, I don't think I, we are. I, I really don't think we are. And, and uh, ask yourself this, if you are a young person in Kenya, and you want to become an opinion leader and a national figure. You either have to get arrested, you either have to be in a fight, you have to be arrested by the police, you have to be in a confrontation with the police, or fight your... Even the, the, the most recent case, case where you know one parliamentary, parliamentarian is fighting another one, and suddenly the next day they're national figures. So I, I subscribe to what uh, Torres was saying and what our guest from Nakuru was saying is that we do not have, as a youth, a voice that is uniting us. Right. Because for you to become a national youth voice, you come from a point of confrontation. Mm. So if you are parliamentarian X, who made headlines by fighting parliamentarian Y, mm -hmm. what moral authority do you have to stand on a podium and tell the youth to be united? Mm. So the reason we are not having a 
honest conversation is because we do not have a youth voice directing us towards an honest conversation. Okay, so could you back to that? And you can talk about the sensitive. Mm. Do you well, think Kenyans who wish in a machungu and they only uh, show this? It's only shown as in uh, the only time in our Kenyan wakati wa election because Abu Torres Mazejo to make kikam ya kanne to mecho manyama to mechil si udunga una news ya kladi vitu ka hizo so uno naje wa Kenya wanaishi na hii machungu inaonekana time ya election peke yake ama ni kitu tu yofanyika time ya election mimi muuliza je wacha mimi to mimi naweza sema mimi kivi yangu naweza sema na mimi ndo sema tu kweli ni ufala yenye tuko nayo sisi kama mayutmen mm -hmm. na ni pia wale watu wanatutumia wanatutumia vibaya juu unapata hii machungu inakuja tu saa hizi kwa nini nikikukosea nisikuambie this time ati umenikosea na ngoja mpaka period fulani ndio sasa nikuje ni kuattack i think we need to call a spoon a spoon kama vijana juu ukiangalia wale maboys wan, watu wana watu wana madoa ni mavijana by the way ni mayutmen na mnasema kwamba mnataka viongozi wa kesho pia pia ningetaka kusema pia kubonga na ama karao pia wanapiga maboys mm -hmm. pia wao ni maboys how do you feel sasa ume shoot brother mtu pale hivyo unarudi home kujipiga kifua mm -hmm. but nasema sisi wa Kenya we need to come up as brothers mm -hmm. as real brothers angalia sasa hizi kuna watu wana safa in slums mm -hmm. and sisi tunaendelea kupiga wengine in the same same slum mm -hmm. sisi kama mandugu hapa kwa slum tuache hii uchungu tukae pamoja kama ma brother na tukuje pamoja i think there's something behind the, behind what is happening mm -hmm. so kuna machungu wenye wasio yeah, yeah, yes, lakini wezi ambiana wezi kutakuambiana mbona kwa debe unaona ni kama wanapatiwa chance kuambiana ukweli uh, <laughs> kwa debe kwa debe lakini mimi naweza sema hivi kwa debe pia iko poa watu waende wase wabonge kwa kwa debe mm -hmm. but unapata there's something yenye mimi sioni mm -hmm. Kwa nini watu wengine wa boycott na kwa nini watu wengine wafanye nini so Kenya we need the leaders unajua maybe we can mnaweza sema sisi vijana ni wabaya mm -hmm. but our fathers the leaders na mimi si semi mtu mwingine nasema between the real, the two fathers right. of, of, between our baba wetu wawili mm -hmm. eh, na mimi nasema tu ni uhuru na Raila please, right uh, please they just come up sisi kama vijana tunaumia what well they want to say diane okay that will... torres has an amazing point yeah. right there but also we are joined by shiko kihika from our nakuru bureau as well as nerima wako who's joining us live via skype shiko it's so good to have you with us shiko is behind the movement hashtag tribeless youth we also have hamba our political senior reporter who will be joining us and telling us what the ground feels right or the how the situation currently is shiko right now is joining us from our nakuru bureau shiko um thank you so much for being here this evening really you are behind the uh, the movement tribeless youth it's sad to say that even as young people we are the largest constituency look at the nation that we will be inheriting what are your thoughts All right, so um, we'll have a we have a technical problem, but we'll come back um, with Shiko for a moment. Let us see if we can get Duncan Hayemba, our senior political reporter, who is also joining us. Hayemba, good evening. 